Does Lee really want us to believe this cow is actually a Minotaur? Right. To counter him, pick someone like Janna who can blow him away with ease and disrupt his engaging attempts. Lulu can polymorph him when he's about to stun someone and also knock him up if he goes for an ally. Morgana's shield goes a long way in preventing someone from becoming a target as well. Soraka for her silence, Blitzcrank for his pull in silence, and Zyra for her continuous poke and roots make other good counters as well. Alistar's passive makes him roar and heal both himself and all nearby allied champions whenever a large champion or epic monster dies. It also makes him stack per unit killed and enemy displaced or stunned by him, and at 7 stacks will also roar. Alistar's Q makes him slam the ground, knocking up all enemies in the vicinity and dealing magic damage. His W makes him dash to an enemy, stunning him and knocking him back a few units. His E ghosts him and makes him start dealing magic damage around him for a short duration. He gets a chain stack per enemy champion hit and at 5 stacks, his next auto will deal extra damage and stun. Finally, his ultimate will remove all CC affecting him and will grant him a lot of damage reduction from all sources for 7 seconds. You've probably already faced one of these, so you know he can actually combine both his W and Q to gap close and instantly knock up instead of knocking someone back. But his most dangerous combo is actually to flash Q and knock you back instead, so be careful about that one. In terms of spells, he'll most likely be played as support taking either Ignite or Exhaust, depending on how aggressive he's feeling. You'll be playing support as well, so take your own choice of spell that better suits you and your team instead of countering his. As for Power Spikes, he's really useful all throughout the game due to his natural tankiness and immense CC he's able to dish out. Level 2 is an interesting engage opportunity with just his W and Q, but level 3 will add a whole other layer of CC, so expect engages then. Level 6 he might dive you as well. Righteous Glory will make you fear the trampling cow coming at you, and Knight's Vow will make his 2v2 fights in the bot lane quite hard, especially when he activates his ultimate and ignores both your and your allies' damage. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, he'll only be able to stun you with his E if it gets enough stacks of it, so stay clear of him. His ult grants him damage reduction, but true damage goes over that, and his combo is not that easy to pull off, so expect mistakes and punish him for these. Ultimately, have fun doing it.